Want to style your entire website in record time? With DV5's default presets, it's not just possible, it's super easy. And in this video, we are going to dive deep into how default presets for elements and option groups can help you revolutionize your workflow. Forgot tedious repetitive styling, default presets let you set it once and move on. So if all that sounds interesting and you want to learn how you can use DV's default presets to style your entire website, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DV Visual Builder. They are the fundamentals of your site design and the first preset you want to tweak. Think of them as a souped up replacement for your theme customizer, giving you way more control. There are two flavors to play with, default element presets and default option group presets. So let's break them down. Now default element presets are all about efficiency. Imagine styling a blur module once, say editing its font and colors, and then every new blurb you add automatically matches that style. That's the magic of default element presets. Edit them once and keep your site consistent without extra effort. Then there is default option group presets, the real game changer. These let you style shared properties like typography or buttons across multiple elements at once. Set a heading style here and it applies to every module with heading. It's like a design superpower for site-wide consistency. Okay, so what sets default preset apart from custom presets? Now default presets are your site's automatic go-to style. Every new element or option group you add uses them by default. On the other hand, custom presets are your bonus styles. Think of special sections and unique buttons. You apply them manually when you need something different. For the smoothest workflow, set your default presets first and then sprinkle some custom presets for those one-off design changes. Love a custom preset so much that you want it everywhere? Not a problem. Open the preset dropdown, hover over your custom preset, click on the star icon and then click on save. And boom! It's now your default presets ready to roll site-wide. Now wondering where the default presets pull their initial styles from? They start with whatever in the theme customizer. For example, if you are wondering how your headings got this 30 pixel header size, it means that they are coming from the theme customizer if that's what's set. But here is a kicker. You don't need to mess with the theme customizer. Just tweak your default presets right in Visual Builder for ultimate control. Here is how you use default presets to build your entire site. Number 1. Kick off with wireframes. Map out your pages using basic modules like text, blurb or image. Keep it simple and reuse modules to speed things up. Step number 2. Set default option group presets. Start broad. Think sections, spacings, backgrounds and typography. Set presets for headings or buttons to unify your design. Step number 3. Mix them with custom presets. Now add custom presets for standout sections or elements that need a little twist. Step 4. Polish with default element preset. Style specific modules or section for that consistent pro look. With default option group preset leading the charge, your core style apply automatically as you build. Default presets are your shortcut for faster design. Whether it's elements or option groups, they let you set style once and keep moving. Pair them with the DV5's lightning fast builder and you have got a workflow that's hard to beat. So ready to give it a spin? Then make sure you go ahead and download the DV5 public alpha today and let's start designing. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress and DV updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next video.